second, I don't want anyone to miss the point. Dr. Behe said, where's the transition? Mm -hmm. Philip Gingrich and others dug up not one, not two, but three transitionals. Are they transitionals? We don't know that. You know, I would think in a fair fight, you'd say, you know, darn it, no. we were wrong on that one. You guys got the evidence. Okay, here's one for uh, your side. I, but what's uh, happening is... Uh, I can quote to you now. from an article in Science says that they are not cannot be placed in an ancestor uh, descendant to see uh, no no point. no well we're going to have we to all... miss it yeah, okay. thank you very much i'm done Professor. you're done you're free <laughs> thank you very much time flies they say ambulocetus pictured here is mostly imagination the dark bones are the only ones actually found ambulocetus is not a, a missing link ambulocetus is just a few fragments of bone how about uh, uh B, uh, B. J. Stahl, vertebrate history uh, dover publisher said the basilosaurus is not an intermediate. He said uh, the archaeocetes uh, could not possibly have been ancestral to any of the modern whales. Pachycetus, shown here, all they found was one piece of a skull, a small piece of jaw, and a few teeth. That's enough to know it used to be a whale? You've got to be kidding. Now here you are, Skeptic Magazine. Why aren't you skeptical of a claim like that? No pelvic bones were found, and little is known about the tail, but the authors are certain the feet were enormous. <laughs> As such, Ambulocetus re represents a critical intermediate. This is pure propaganda, okay? We could talk all day about the whale anatomy. He mentioned about the snake. I happen to have a 15 and a half foot python snake skin in my museum in Pensacola, Florida. If you look at the bones that have no function, the textbook says. Imagine whales walking around, it's true. Here's the bones they're talking about right there. You can see them at your Los Angeles Museum right down the road here. Those are the bones. Yes, just imagine the whale walking around. <laughs> this textbook says the whale's pelvis is located far from the vertebra and has no apparent function. Hmm. The whale's pelvis is evidence of its evolution from four-legged land-dwelling mammals. This is a lie. Those bones are anchor points that special muscles attach to. And without those special bones and those special muscles, the whales cannot reproduce. Male and female, whales have different bones in that region for to support different muscles for different reasons. This has nothing to do with walking on land. It has to do with getting baby whales, okay? So the people that are writing this in the textbooks are either ignorant of whale anatomy or they're lying trying to push their theory. I hope they're just ignorant. That we can fix. If they're lying, they ought to get a different job picking peaches or changing tires. They got no business taking tax dollars to lie to the kids coming through their class. Says these bones resemble those of other mammals, but they are weakly developed in the whale and have no apparent function. This is a college biology book. This guy ought to be fired. He doesn't understand his whale anatomy. They're teaching this stuff like it's some kind of fact. Is this a university to get educated or are you just getting indoctrinated in a theory? Okay.